Hello prospective buyer. We have here a 2019 Fleetwood Flare model 29M. Excellent condition. Less than 4,800 miles on it. One big slide out over here on the side. Show you some hatches. Over here we have the external shower. Pretty self-explanatory. Storage down here on the bottom. You can see that there's a pass through to the other side with the equivalent storage over there. <clears throat> all of our sewer lines, water filter, all of that kind of stuff. I will be throwing in all of the peripherals for this RV. So your hoses, water hoses, pressure regulators, electrical uh, surge protectors and all the adapters, the blocks to level this thing, those little uh, chalk blocks that you can run the tire up on when you need to, so on and so on. You saw the generator over there, less than 12 hours of time on it. We have here external cameras, one on each side. So when you turn your signal lights on, you can uh, look out through the central console and see if anything's in your blind spot. Very, very handy. Little puppy window, so your small dog can come sit by the co-pilot's feet and look outside. Lots of glass here, very nice. Continuation of the storage. With that pass through, you can see I've got it pretty packed in there right now. <clears throat> Gas. <clears throat> right here we have a 50 inch TV for your tailgate parties. I've also gone and put in some electronics that will uh, <clears throat> let you run the DVD player on the inside so that you can put movies on the outside and do a campsite drive-in if you want to do that. Right here, external kitchen. We've got a tiny little reefer. <clears throat> Plenty of storage in here. This goes all the way to the very back. Uh, added in some cargo netting for additional stuff. Uh, of course, you know, sink and wash up and additional microwave. And kind of a cool little feature right here. This pops out as a cutting board and a storage area for your cooking utensils and stuff like that. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna head inside. Very nice solid door. Coming up into the cabin here. Driver's seat, nice big, luxurious and extremely comfortable chairs. These do turn around. There is a little table post here and a table so that you can turn this into additional seating space when you're, when you're traveling. Right here. Lots of little storage nooks all over the place. Got more stuff in here than you can possibly imagine. Above us is a uh, bed that comes down with an electric motor on these tracks right here. Holds 600 pounds. So you get another couple people sleeping up there. You can see all of the ducting for the air conditioning. Heading back, very nice. Another 42 inch TV right here, hooked to the same DVD player that would run the outside stuff. Uh, if you've looked at this model on the internet, some of them have an L-shaped dinette. Uh, personally, I think that was rather unsafe because if you step out after a couple beers, you could fall into this well. This has the C-shaped, which I think is a lot nicer. Jackknife couch over here. <clears throat> so another couple folks can sleep here. This of course turns into a, a bed here. Um, nice little kitchen. They've done some faux tile work, which is, which is good. And uh, everything like that. Residential fridge. In here we've got a nice little shower with a skylight, an actual porcelain toilet, and I have actually ordered up a uh, porcelain uh, um, slow closing top. So I'll have that installed for you folks if you, if you make the purchase. Right here, um, nice little magnetic cup holder and toothbrush holder, that kind of stuff. In the back here, king size bed. It will come with a an additional three inch memory foam topper on it. Tons of storage above the bed. Here's that stereo I talked about here that you can control using the app on your phone so you can stream music and such into your campsite outside or inside if you decide. It's got two zones. Lots of storage underneath the bed. <clears throat> a full size wardrobe here that uh, you could probably look at the still pictures and see it's a good size. And then of course a dresser station here, second DVD player, and the final TV in the unit. Looking back around, 
hopefully that gives you a good idea of what you're looking at and hope to hear from you soon.